The diamonds we're starting to get in the headliners is getting spicy. 96 overall diamond, Luis Patino. Four seamer slider changeup curveball with a 105 hits per nine, 109 case per nine, 90 velocity, and 94 break. Currently in the marketplace, he's about 45,000 stubs. He's got a pressure cooker, stingy, untouchable, knee buckler, cheesy, grounded, and illusionist. You can get him in the market, show pack, or in the set 13 headliners that we're going to be opening up today. I'm also going to show you my set 12 pack opening and because it was really good. We pulled two diamonds in the set 12s. So the set headliners has actually been really good for me in these last few sets we're, we were due we were due for this but look at this card though look at the card art on this Luis Patino future stars that gold oh my god that looks good the starry background the yeah just whatever all that stuff it's all so good right now but before we begin today let's see if we can crush 200 likes on this video today 100 has been usually the goal lately but you guys keep crushing that so 200 likes maybe we'll get more if not, that's okay, but 200 likes is the goal. It helps the channel out. It helps the channel grow. And speaking of growth, we are so close to 33,000 subscribers. We're like just over 100 subscribers to, to go. So if you are new here, make sure you leave a subscribe on the channel. Post notifications on. Don't forget to post notifications. That's the most important part. But we're going to go for this 47,000 stub card. So I think if we pull them, it definitely is worth it because it's about 35k for all of the packs, give or take. We do have a 50 bundle to go with today too, and a ballin is a habit pack. Set 13 headliners, the way we're going to do it, as always, 10 standard packs, and then we'll do a set headliners in this video. So first things first, let's take a look, because I, I did this off video, I was like, I'm not going to do a set 12 pack opening, I'm not feeling it. Nick Madrigal only for that. I think it was this one right here. Yeah, so, so the set, 12 headliners, five of them. We get a gold in the very first one. Nick Anderson. I think this was our first diamond pull here. Yeah, diamond pull in the very second one. American League, I thought it was going to be Mike Trout again. But second baseman this time, and then I saw the future stars. I was like, here we go. We got Nick Madrigal at the time. He was also 47,000 stubs. Not sure how much he was today at all. But that is our first actual, like, headliners pull in a headliners pack. So, I was really pumped for that. And then, just wait for it. We got another diamond coming out. We may have gone back to back. We did not. It's definitely the next pack, though. Yeah, there we go. So, this one, this one wasn't too good. It's just a left-hander National League diamond for about 8,000 stubs. You guys can probably guess who this is. We get Clayton Kershaw for, like, the fifth time this year. So... And that was our luck in the set 12s. Let's see if we can continue that into set 13. But gonna start out with the standard packs right away. It's actually a really good time to open packs right now since the market has been boosted with the new Future Stars and Team Affinity Stage 2. So look at this. I can sell this Hunter Renfro for about 800 stubs. That's more than half the stubs per pack right now. So if you get like the high silvers... You get a couple high silvers, that's basically paying for one whole pack. John Gray, another 800 stubs right there. But the Future Stars Team Affinity Stage 2 has really made the market go up a lot. Especially for the silvers, especially for the gold. So that's what we're looking for today too. Even the 75 overall is going to be like three, 400 stubs. Depending on what team people are going for. Now, I'm not saying you guys should open packs either. But this Rich Hill is like 900 stubs in the market right now it's pretty crazy so we should be able to make back like a pretty good amount of our stubs today all right here we go the final standard until we open up our brand new set 13 headliners here we go ladies and gents let's go slower this time around for these come on okay silver in the first one 78 overall tyler naquin 463 there probably like 600 stubs Still not what we want, but it's good to see a lot of silvers right now. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Don't. Do not skunk me. Do not skunk me in a 50-pack bundle. 50s have been good for me this year. I think we pulled one or two of our trouts. And I know that's bad to say, but I think we pulled one or two of our trouts in a 50-pack. Taewon Walker there. There are five more, and then we'll do another set headliners. Silver again. Not even a gold. Ooh. 
Daniel Murphy is going for like almost a thousand stubs there. That is sick. All right, I like that. I mean, we're seeing a lot of silvers, but not even one gold so far yet. An 84 overall gold, depending on who it is, could reach almost 5k stubs right now. So looking, f there it is, our first gold. 80 overall, sunny gray, not the one we're looking for. Oh, yeah, we got a silver out of that too, cool. So that pack was actually a dub. Set 13, number two, here we go. Are we going to get a diamond right now? Come on, come on, and two silvers. Miles Michaelis and another Robbie Ray there. Okay, pretty good stubbage. Still not what we're looking for, guys. The goal here is to get diamonds. This is a good pack. This is a good standard pack right here. 3,000 stubs at least for Marcus Semyon. And then Matt Barnes is at least like 600. So 3,000 stubs coming out of that pack. Still need the diamonds though, guys. We, we need, let's see the blue. Let's see the blue. Like how, how much... I'm wondering this. How much does the market influence what we pull in, in pack openings? Because right now everything's up. And it seems like this. Oh, okay. I, I take that all back. I take that all back right now. We got a National League. So if it's center feet, we got Ronald Acuna. We got Ronald Acuna. I take that all back. Oh, we got Cassell Marte. I thought there was only one National League center fielder. Cattell Marte is the pull this time around. That's not bad, though. I'll take that, too. About 20,000 stubs. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. 25 to go. Here we go. We will do four more and then another headliners. It's a dub. It's a dub today. We should, we should be close to how much we spent. We should get back pretty close to how much we spent. If. If. And only if we pull a top, another top tier diamond. So that's what we're looking for in the final half of these packs. Here we go, set 13. Please, please be good to me this time. Double diamond, maybe? No, no, no double diamonds this year yet. All right, all right, and a gold Lorenzo Kane, low tier. Set 13, not looking good for me so far, guys. I did buy the set 13 packs already yesterday, too. So maybe waiting till today to open them was a bad idea let me let me know in your experience when you open your packs do you let it sit and get hot or do you open them right away and what are the results i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to take this whole pack opening thing to a whole new level right i'm trying i'm trying to get i'm trying to get 10 trouts this year 10 mike trout pulls this year alone that is my goal we've gotten three We've, got, we've gotten three, seven more Mike Trouts. Seven more Mike Trouts is what I'm going for. <laughs> Bro, probably so impossible. But I also said that a tr third Mike Trout in one year was also impossible. So any anything's, I guess anything is possible at this point. But here we go, guys. Set 13, second to last. And we get another silver. Not good, guys. Not good. We're down to our final... Uh, set of packs final set 10 or set 13 final ball in in the final 10 pack bundle here we go give me more golds give me more silver so i can sell them make let me make those stubs back all right let me make those stubs back to be fair though like i was grinding the market to get a lot of these stubs as soon as like team affinity stage 2 came out the market popped i was getting chris bryant and like john carlo at about 2500 each leading up to that i was like yo people are gonna be going for the 84 overalls and i was right i was able to get them around 2500 to 3000 each and i was able to sell them like five six thousand stubs after that so we made a pretty good killing in the market doing that but here we go set one so yeah so basically this is all profit all these packs are basically profit if you think about it so what are we thinking here? So 1 in 15 in a ball and a 1 in 10 in a set 13. So I think we're going to do the ball and habit pack right here. One Mike Trout was pulled in this for us. So maybe, just maybe, this time around we'll get a Mike Trout again. Here we go. Here we go. I guess that's all we're asking for nowadays is Mike Trout because it's it's been done already, right? So Nick Castellanos in that one. And one low silver in the ball in his habit. Here we go. Final set 13. Luis Patino. Here we go, guys. Set 13. Come on. 
Come on, man. Oh my god, those were bad. Yo, those were so bad, man. Those packs were so bad. I hope I hope you guys had better luck in your set 13s, but wow. I wonder if they're going to be harder to pull now, these diamonds in the set highlighters, since, you know, the overalls are getting higher, but... This Luis Patino, not a bad looking card though, could actually possibly be in your top 5 rotation right now um, for your team. So, if you've tried him, let me know in the comments section down below how he is in game. I, I, like I always say, I do like a, a pitcher with a, at least a slider and a changeup repertoire. 94 breaks going to be pretty good for this card too. And it's a plus to have that curveball too. So let me know how he plays. If you should, if you think I should have him on the team, let me know. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you have better pack luck than me. Everyone that liked this video today or likes this video today is blessed with my pack luck. I bless all of you with my pack luck. And I love, I love hearing you guys say that you're pulling these diamonds left and right after watching my video. So continue to do that. Let me know in the comments. Let me know on my social medias. And keep watching the videos. Keep liking them. And let's keep growing the channel. Thank you all so much for watching today. Check out my other two videos. I got some fire pack openings there. I know you guys love the pack openings. So check them out right here. Thank you all so much. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.